Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on recoding variables using SPSS. On occasion in counseling research, we want to take the values in a variable and recode them based on some criteria so that the new variable can be interpreted from a different perspective or used for a different purpose. So I have here in the data editor in SPSS three variables and these are fictitious data in these variables. We have an ID variable, a depression variable, and an anxiety variable. And let's assume for the depression and anxiety variables that a higher score for one of these records indicates more severe symptoms of, like in this case, depression for this variable, and a lower score, less severe symptoms. And let's also assume that while this research study is going on, the research study that gathers these scores, that we also want to use this information to inform treatment. So in this case, we're going to want to recode the depression variable based on the level of depression indicated by the instrument and divide the participants into categories that indicate how often they're going to be treated with counseling services. And we'll say the categories are monthly treatment, biweekly treatment, weekly treatment, and intensive treatment, which would be receiving counseling more than one time a week and attending group therapy. So I've included this other variable to demonstrate another feature of recoding. Let's say that there's a separate treatment protocol for anxiety, and we want that protocol to be used if the anxiety score is higher than the depression score. So when we recode this variable depression, we want to exclude cases in which the anxiety score is higher. For example, for participant 1012, the depression score is 46, the anxiety score is 56. So we would not want this depression score recoded. So to start the recode, I'm going to go up to Transform. And you can see there are a few options here. I'm going to be using the Recode into Different Variables option. There's also a Recode in the same variables and an Automatic Recode. If you use the Recode in the same variables, it's going to overwrite the variable that you're recoding. So it actually eliminate the values in the variable depression and replace them with the recoded values. In this case, I want to create a new variable that contains the level of treatment that the participants will be receiving. So I'm going to recode into different variables. So I'm going to click that. This is what the dialog looks like by default. And I'm going to move the depression variable over to where it says input variable to output variable. And you can see now it changes to numeric variable to output variable. But again, we don't want to recode cases where the anxiety score is higher. So down here, I click if. You see this optional case selection condition. Click if. By default, it's going to include all the cases. But I can also select include if case satisfies condition. And in this case, I move depression over, and I only want to include cases where the depression score is greater than or equal to, so I'll select that, greater than or equal to anxiety. So this will exclude cases where the anxiety score is greater than depression. So now I click continue, and you can see down here it indicates the condition for the if statement, depression is greater than or equal to anxiety. Now I want to name the output variable. Over here to the right you can see there's a place for a name and a label. I'm just going to use treatment level. It's treatment underscore level. And the reason I use the underscore is because the space is an illegal character for this operation. For label, I use the same name that I used for the name of the output variable. And then I'm going to click Change. So now you can see depression is recoded into treatment level. 
So now we go to old and new values. This brings up a new dialog. Old value is here on the left, new value here on the right, and a list of all the recodes here on the bottom right. So let's say that I'm going to start at the bottom. So I'll click down here, range lowest, this is lowest score, through the value that I specify. So let's say the lowest score through 40. This will be the group of participants that receives counseling monthly. So these symptoms would not be considered severe with whatever instrument was used here. So if we wanted to recode into a number, I could just type that number into the new value, value input box, the text box here. But if we're going to use a string, I have to move down here and check output variables or strings or else it'll throw an error. So I'm going to click this box, output variables or strings, and now I can type in the recode value, which will be monthly. I'm going to add that. Now I'm going to go to range. So this is, this is added. So I can just go here to range. I can just keep stacking these. And let's go from 41 to 45. I'll make this the next level. So I'll just delete monthly, or I could also just type over it. I'm going to type in bi-weekly. So participants here will attend a counseling session every two weeks. I'll add this. Again, using range. Now I'll go 46 through 55. And I'll make this the weekly treatment. I'll add that. So now for the values 56 and greater, I'm going to go to range, value through highest. I'll specify 56, and this will recode all of the values from 56 through the highest value in the variable. Of course, excluding any cases where depression is not greater than or equal to the anxiety score. So this level of treatment, I'm going to name intensive treatment. And notice here with intensive treatment, I did leave a space that is a legal character uh, for this text box. So I'll click add. So now lowest through 40 is monthly, 41 through 45 biweekly, 46 through 55 weekly, and 56 through the highest score intensive treatment. Because this value is longer, the string has more characters than the specified width here, which is 8. I need to change this if I want this entire term to appear, intensive treatment. The width set by default is 8, and all of my other values, these strings are within that width. Biweekly is exactly 8, monthly is 7, and weekly is 6. Intensive treatment is 19 characters. So I'm going to change this width to 19. Then from here, I can click Continue. And then from the Recode into Different Variables dialog, click OK. So we can see here that in the instance where the depression score was greater than or equal to anxiety score, the recode took place and it recoded according to the criteria we set. So this value 51 recoded into weekly, 57 was recoded into intensive treatment, 44 into bi-weekly, and 38 into monthly. In instances where the anxiety score was greater than the depression score, no recode took place. So it may be useful to interpret this variable to sort depression so I'm going to sort ascending, so the lower values are up top. And you can see where you have an empty cell. That would be where you'd want to use the anxiety treatment protocol. And then when you have a cell with a value, you would follow this protocol. In this case, you see it's monthly. And then there are three more values with monthly. 
then it goes to bi-weekly and as we move down we see the weekly values and then at the end we have the intensive treatment values. I hope you found this video on recoding variables in SPSS to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.